Calvin Goza was studying to be an engineer when an accident with a drunk driver left him paralyzed below the chest. His doctors told him he would never move his legs again. He was just 24 years old. But today could change everything. Here at the University of Louisville, researchers will jolt electricity to Calvin's spine using these implanted electrodes. If they figure out the exact right charge, Calvin's legs will be back under his control. He'll likely yeah. get back bowel, bladder, and sexual function too. This is called the ring of fire. Each one of these red lights, it has a camera and a sensor, and it can pick up even the tiniest movement that Calvin might make. All right, so Calvin, you're all wired up. Ready to go? I'm ready. What are you hoping for? Um, hopefully I can pull that little string, I guess. At first. Right. Up. Down. Nothing. Up. For two hours, the researchers give him jolts Down. of electricity Up. and Calvin tries his hardest Down. to move. And still, nothing. Does it get frustrating trying combination after combination and not seeing very much? Uh, that is science. So we're going to keep going. We're going to keep going. Hey, Susan. Dr. Susan Harkema decides to amp up the voltage and finally the string moves. For the first time since his car accident, Calvin can lift his toe. But can he do even better? Can he move his entire leg? Calvin's doctors change the configuration again and wait. Oh. Down. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, it worked. How'd that feel? It was pretty awesome. You haven't moved your legs in two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think you would move them again? No. What did you think when you saw that leg rise up in the air? Well, I questioned it at first. I wasn't, you know, maybe it didn't actually happen. I was just hoping it did. So when you call your parents in Colorado today, what are you going to tell them? I'll probably mess with them first. <laughs> but they'll be pretty excited to hear the, the big news, I think. And now that Calvin can move his legs, his doctors hope one day he'll be able to walk again. Elizabeth Cohen, CNN, Louisville, Kentucky.